welcome to Daily Prayer, a ministry of the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Bob Schaefer. It's good to see you. Today is Friday, January 13th. We're preparing for the second Sunday after Epiphany. Let's take a moment of silence now as we begin. Let's pray. Holy God, our strength and our Redeemer, by your Spirit hold us forever, that, through your grace, we may worship you and faithfully serve you, follow you and joyfully find you. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1. I, Luke, wrote the former account, Theophilus, about all that Jesus began to do and teach until the day he was taken up to heaven, after he had given orders by the Holy Spirit to the apostles he had chosen. To the same apostles also, after his suffering, he presented himself alive with many convincing proofs. He was seen by them over a 42-day period and spoke about matters concerning the kingdom of God. While he was with them, he declared, do not leave Jerusalem, but wait there for what my father promised, which you heard about from me. For John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Now that we've dwelt in God's word, let's take some time to pray together. If you're comfortable doing so, I hope you'll pray out loud with me. It's good to lift our voices together to the Lord. Even though we're separated in time and in space, we're united by technology and in the power of the Spirit. So let's pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, that he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. From the rising of the sun to its setting, let us pray to the Lord. That the people of God in all the world may worship in spirit and in truth, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer. That the church may discover again that unity which is the Father's will. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer. That the nations of the earth may seek after the ways that make for peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer. That the whole creation, groaning in travail, may be set free to enjoy the glorious liberty of the children of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer. That all who with Christ have entered the shadow of death may rest in peace and rise in glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer. Let us commend the world to which Christ showed the way to the mercy and protection of God. O God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And that'll do it for now. Thank you for spending a few minutes of your time with us today. We hope it's been a blessing. Please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and tell your friends about us. Stop by and visit us online at goodshepherdlife.org. And while you're there, why not make a gift to support our ongoing ministry? Just choose Donate from our menu. Stay well, be of good cheer, and be kind to one another. I'll see you tomorrow.